I'm feeling dirty. Fling you. Welcome back to another edition of ROM series. This time I'm looking at dirty unicorns again, so we could consider this a revisited video, but I'm not gonna go to all the details about the ROM. What I wanna hit on are the special features that dirty unicorns includes in their ROM. If you couldn't catch the name of it before, Fling is one of them. What Fling allows you to do is customize your navigation bar, which is really cool because you can get tons of different gestures and actions and features involved just in that small area. You've got from tap to double tap to swipe to long swipes to really customize what you want the device to do. Looking at the swipe gestures, you can look at your right short swipe, left short swipe, right long swipe, and left long swipe. I don't think I've said swipe so many times in my life in one short period of time. If you tap on right short swipe, you can choose from your default settings, select custom action, or select an application. So what I do, I have it set up as my recents, and you can do that under the custom actions. So it's pretty sweet, it's like you don't have to necessarily concentrate on that particular area, all you have to do is do a swipe action. So the long swipe, you know, start from left to right. Moving on down to the tap actions, this is where you can get some pretty cool stuff. Like if you're used to having the back button on the left hand side, keep it that way. The same goes with the recents action. Do it like that. But what you can do, you can do double taps. Double taps left, I can take a screenshot with one hand. That's really cool. If you go on the other side and do a double tap, you can do something like a menu. You get a Fling logo, you can do animated logo, custom icons, all kinds of stuff. So Fling is a really cool option that you can add with Dirty Unicorns. Another sweet feature is Pulse. Pulse is pretty awesome. What you can do is activate it and when you're playing your music, you're gonna see a sweet animation at the bottom that changes colors. With Pulse, you can actually change the colors of what you want it to do. You can do like a lava lamp to where it changes colors for you or you can set it to a dedicated color. Another standout feature that Dirty Unicorns has is Smart Bar. In the Smart Bar settings, you basically get some different variations of what you can do with your bar. One, you can change it from a ripple to a spring animation effect. You also have input method actions, which is really cool because you can do input arrows or a keyboard switcher. Since I use SwiftKey all the time, input arrows is a really cool option for me because you can move in between the letters and text without actually trying to aim for it on the touch screen itself. The contacts buttons and layout position is pretty cool because you can adjust it to the right or the left. Dirty Unicorns is a great ROM to check out. It's definitely a go-to, you can't go wrong using this ROM. If you're looking for features that I just showed you, this is the ROM to get. Be sure to check out my full review about this ROM down below in the description of this video. What's your thoughts about these features? Are they cool? I like them. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to this channel so you can see more content like this. Follow me on all the social networks and be sure to share this video on your favorite social networks. And until then, stay techy. ROM series, bro. ROM. ROM. Seriously, bro, ROM.